Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and in this video we're going to see what will happen if I increase or change the recommended setting of the parallel desktop and run Windows 10 and open the applications within Windows 10 which is running inside the parallel desktop because we know that the Windows 10 is actually an ARM operating system and we are definitely not sure what will happen if we try changing the settings of the parallel desktops. So if you see here within the parallel desktop if you go to the configuration you can see that for the CPU and memory the processor that we're currently using is 2 which is the recommended processor and the memory is 4 GB. So I'm just going to leave all these settings as it is because as you can see it tells you clearly that this is the hypervisor because the Parallels hypervisor is not we're going to be using. We're going to use the Apple's hypervisor uh, and it is the adaptive hypervisor as well. So I'm going to leave all these settings as it is right now. And if I try running it, we already saw the video, like a couple of videos and the Windows 10 was working fine without any problem and all the applications were working as expected. So these are pretty good i mean we saw everything was working fine without any lag or issues so if i try opening maybe visual studio 2019 you can see that it opens and if i open visual studio code so all these things works fine and you can see that the memory used is like 10.62 gb after i opened the parallels desktop from 6 gb to 10.6 gb so all these are working as expected so these are pretty good and we know these were working fine as expected even before so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the configuration right now from 2 CPU to maybe 6 CPU and we'll see if the performance are improving or whether the applications are working as expected so for doing that I'm just gonna shut down the operating system and I'm gonna go to the uh, parallel desktop once again and now I'm maybe I'm going to quit this parallel desktop completely and if I open the parallel desktop once again and if I go to the configure option you can see that the recommended processor is 2 at the moment so I'm just going to change to maybe 6 I'm just going to leave this memory as it is like 4 GB because I don't want to increase this guy as of now and I'm just going to close the configuration I'm just going to run the Windows 10 once again so basically I have modified the recommended settings of parallels from 2 to 6 uh, just to see if the performance is increasing or not so you can see that the Windows 10 is booting as expected so these are pretty good as of now and now if I try to open Visual Studio Code let's see what is going to happen I expect the same operation should work fine without any problem because there is not something we have modified at the moment so if I just open the uh, Visual Studio 2019 you can see that it is working as expected so these are pretty good at the moment and if I open the Visual Studio code so this is working fine as well so I could see that all these operation if I modify the processor settings or any custom settings it is working fine and I just wanted to see if the performance of the operating system is improving because the number of processor has been increased so if I go to maybe the task manager over here and if I go to the CPU you can see that the cores is currently 6 CPU because we have increased the number of processor to 6 and the logical processor is 6 as well which is all pretty good so this gives us a more confidence that it is going to be working even if we try changing the recommended settings from 2 to 6 it's all pretty good but I am not sure if the performance is actually increasing because at the moment I could see that the performance is kind of lagging so if I try doing some operation here uh, you can see that Visual Studio is kind of uh, crashing something like that so probably these things were did, we didn't happen while I was trying to run uh, on the uh, 2 processor um, so uh, let's see if all these things are working as expected so if I open the calculator or calendar and if I open the VS code once again it's all good but just that Visual Studio is crashing I'm not sure why it is crashing but uh, I couldn't see these kind of issues coming while I was using the two processors like two core processor but but yes it looks like just that this particular setting is not working if I try doing it so I'm gonna do it again 
and you can see that there is no big performance improvement at least in terms of loading of visual studio 2019 um, at least i could see that it is exactly the same like how it was before so yes i i think uh, changing the number of processor uh, from like two to six like from the recommended setting to uh, the increased setting is not going to improve any performance differences but but yes maybe it w may increase if the parallel team if the parallels teams are going to make any improvement but as of now i could see that the functionality is going to be pretty much exactly the same like how it was before so that's it guys once again thank you very much for watching this video and please put your comments below on any other videos that you need to see we can discuss about that thank you